We've all broken rules on Minecraft servers, but I guarantee that the worst one you've broken is nothing compared to what this player did. Spoke has banned every player, duped billions of items, and even manipulated me, stealing ownership of my server without me knowing. So, to get him back for the past two years of pain that he caused me, I'm gonna break every rule on his server, all before he can ban me. Alright, but like, I have an actual question. What? Starting with rule one, no attacking players in spawn. Yo, he's, yo, Pirate is jumping me, what the- And as soon as these players started fighting back, I instantly logged out. What? Yep, but go. these are both rules that people already break all the time. The next one, not so often. This player just invited me to her parkour competition, and I immediately agreed to participate. But, if you know anything about this server, when a player invites you to something, it's always either a scam or a trap. Which is exactly why as soon as she won the bet by successfully making one of the hardest jumps in Minecraft, I started running away instead of paying her the hearts like I promised. <laughs> yo, oh my yo, God. come back here, come back. Yes, this gone. Hello. <laughs> We had a deal! For some reason though, I decided to turn around and give her the four hearts that I promised. Not only would I have to break this rule later, but I was now left on one heart. And since the competition turned out to be a scam in the first place, my teammate, Mapic, was furious and decided to attack the host of the competition. But I'm not trying to involve myself in any conflicts, especially since I'm on one heart, so I got out of there as fast as possible and began breaking other rules. like using hacks to secretly cheat in the game of Hide and Seek. Enter! Enter! Yes! And breaking all of these rules reminded me of when Spoke and I used to be teammates. Well, with that... But I didn't actually have much time to think about it, because Mapic, my current teammate, told me that in just a few minutes, we would be fighting against the strongest players on the server. And their reason for attacking us? Bro, it's because I had to attack their team after your stupid parkour scam. So, as the enemy team approached, I truly thought about breaking rules to give myself an advantage. But I realized that doing so would likely get me banned. Alright guys, y'all ready? And after some more thinking, I decided that I would keep my distance and only use my bow so that I could run away if we started losing. But as I watched Mapix struggling to survive, I thought back to how we had even gotten into this situation. It was my fault. I owed one to Mapic, and although I typically didn't fight with him, I knew that I needed That's to help. No, it's because it's because there's one more of them now. It's us. Keep eating. I'm dead. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. And since we were now a player down, I drank an invisibility potion and ran as far as I could. Yet, Mapic insisted that we go back to retrieve his chest plate, giving us the exact coordinates of where our enemies had gone. No, uh, uh, 600, negative 1185. Okay, what are we worried about right now? Losing the, the gonna... chest plate. But this isn't just any ordinary chest plate. At the beginning of the server, me, Mapic, and our third teammate, Bacon Waffles, each created a chest plate with the same armor trim but different color as a sign of devotion to our team. In reality, I didn't care about the chest plate because I barely even considered Mapic to be my teammate. At the end of the day, we just shared the same base and sometimes fought together. But for the most part, we did our own separate things. Yet, as Mapic continued to chase down the players who had stolen his chest plate, I guess I hadn't realized how much it meant to him. That's so, so oh, annoying, because if they're in the ocean, then I, I'm gonna lose them, because I don't have a boat. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm oh, dead. Yeah, I'm All right, right. jump in water, jump in water, jump in water, live, jump in water. Live, it's live, really, live, really... Live, live, oh, live, yeah, live, okay, live. and mag is there magnum box? Yeah, there's magnum box. And although Mapic wasn't able to get his chest plate back, he promised us that he would. So in the meantime, I went off to break other rules, challenging my other teammate, Bacon, to a diamond mining competition. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Uh, let me set 15 minutes. All right, let's uh, right, start the timer. All right, start. Okay, let's go. Okay, well, so but do I. what I Bacon Waffles didn't know was that okay. I would be using X-Ray. I do think I got this in the back. Oh, and yeah, so you might not be winning this pair. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 2, 1. Time's okay. up, Bacon. All right, I'm done. Okay, I'm coming back up. All right, did you put it in the chest? Uh... All right, put it in. All right, you ready to check? All right, three, three two, two, one. Okay, so you cheated, bro. Yo, what is, what is this, bro? What do you? I told you, bro. But Bacon Waffles had stolen all of the diamonds from the chest. All right, you want to screen share it then? 
A magician will never reveal their tricks, bro. Bro, you cheated, bro. You cheated. I'm not doing this. Yo, I'm not doing this. Make it. Give me back those diamonds, bro. Wait, what do you mean, bro? I didn't take anything. And no matter how hard I tried, he refused to give them back. Bro, I didn't take them, bro. It must, it must bro. <laughs> Yo, give me those diamonds back. Okay, I'll give back the diamonds if you admit you lost, and then... If not, bro, you're not getting your diamonds back. In reality, it really shouldn't have mattered. I was breaking all of these rules anyway, and a couple of illegally obtained diamonds wouldn't really affect anything. Then again, when Spoke had duped a bunch of illegal items, it had ruined our friendship and also caused war to break out. So, I admitted defeat to Bacon and yeah. got the diamonds back, destroying them a few minutes later. And during that time, Maypick had put pretty much everything on the line to get his chest plate back. But, after everything had failed, he ultimately decided to pay seven hearts for it, which I thought was completely outrageous. You gave him seven hearts for the chest plate? I mean, yeah, I didn't really have a choice. Bro, what? Dog, would you not do the same? Like, we're teammates, bro. But I had to get back to rule breaking. So there I was, using replay mod to illegally find bases, then stealing iron out of them, stream sniping players and responding to people in their chat. And since one of the next rules I was gonna break required a bit of preparation, I headed back to the base where I found Maypick already running around. Maypick, you know what I realized? What's up? I kinda get why Spoke did what he did. Really? Yeah. Bro, like, rule breaking is kind of fun. Yeah, I'm on 50 frames here. right now. I'm, I'm noticing a decrease in Oh in my frames. gosh. I can't even- <laughs> Dude, I'm at one frame! Do you I'm need out. me to finish the job? But then, Mapix said something that I really hadn't put that much thought into. Alright, bro. But, like, I have an actual question. What? Like, why are you doing this? What do you mean? Bro, I just told you. Like, it's, like, fun. Like, do you actually think I'm dumb? What do you- Why are you actually doing it? Uh... Okay, here, check your DMs. Bro, there's actually no way a screenshot of you and Spoke made you do this. Oh, be for real. It's symbolism, bro, symbolism. I'm just basically saying, like, this all has to do with Spoke. Like, you know how he broke rules for literally two years when I was the owner? And, like, over the past eight months, he literally manipulated me, created a team, and then used that to basically destroy Lifesteal? So this is your get back. I mean, yeah, I guess you can put it that way. All right, bro. Just remember what happened when Spoke did that. And as I broke more rules, I thought about what Maypick had said. Like, why are you doing this? Be for real. It's symbolism, bro. Symbolism. All right, bro. Just remember what happened when Spoke did that. At first, I didn't care about rule breaking because I genuinely had nothing to lose. But now, I was beginning to wonder if this was all even worth it. But my thinking was quickly put to a halt because Spoke announced that the server would be inviting two new members. And Maypick and I saw it as the perfect opportunity to get back some of the hearts we had lost from earlier. So, the two of us headed to the top of the world where these new players would spawn in. But, as we were waiting there, Spoke showed up. So, few minutes, bro. Let's lock in. Oh my god, bro. My heart's actually beating. Dude. If we were to kill these players right in front of Spoke, there was a chance that the two of us would get banned. And even though I tried to convince Maypick to leave, he refused. Jetex! Do I do it? I got it. Got it. Got him? Dad, do we jump spoke now? Do we jump spoke now? Mapic went for spoke next, which was the riskiest decision he could have made. Not spoke! Do you think anybody else is gonna come up? Spoke's here too. And even though Mapic knew that he could get banned as well, he still fought by my side. Low, so low, so Widow, low. Widow. What? No, let, no, let's fight this. Let's take this. Let's take this. Don't let him jump. Oh, shoot. And after we managed to escape, the two of us parted ways since Mapic had to work on something else. As he left, I stood there thinking about everything that had happened over the past few days. I think I'm just realizing this now, but like, I am genuinely the worst teammate to ever exist. I feel horrible, bro. Like, I genuinely feel horrible. I guess after what Spoke did, I just never wanted to trust anyone again, but... I don't know. I think until now, I never realized what Maypick has actually done for me. After all, when the server started, I really had no intentions of teaming with anyone. It was Maypick who took me under his wing and invited me to his team. Oh my god! Skeletons do so much damage! Skeletons! Oh, oh. I had an idea. One that would determine whether or not I would continue to break rules. But 
I needed Mapik to be there, and since he wouldn't be around for a while, I tried to distract myself for the rest of the day by breaking more rules. <laughs> Yo, look at him bulking like an NPC! Oh! Yo, what? Yo. And after hours of killing players' pets and building illegal bases, Mapik and I reunited and ventured far out where we stumbled across someone's abandoned starter house. So, to break another rule, I rigged it with TNT and an active redstone line. But before I set it off, I asked Mapik a question. Mapik, are you not afraid? What do you mean? Like of getting banned. You know how, like, you helped me fight Spoke today? You do realize, like, if you interfere, you could potentially get banned too, right? Bro, actually, like, who cares if I get banned? Like, that means you got banned too. It doesn't really matter. Whatever happens, we're still gonna be teammates. I didn't tell Mapik at the time, but that was the moment where I promised that I'd stop breaking rules. I didn't care anymore. I was happy with what I had, the teammates I had, and I was fully ready to let go of Spoke and move on forever. But most of all, unlike Mapik, I was terrified. I was terrified of getting banned and losing everything like I had before. I vowed to never break a rule again. There was no point in doing so, ever. What's up, bro? Stop. I just have a quick question. Sure. It had been almost four days since I'd made the promise to myself. I was working on some villager trades in the base when I received a call from Wembu, a new player on the server. Not completely sure what it was about, I decided to pick it up. Yeah. Does Spoke know about your, like, little rule-breaking quest? And in my mind, since I'd completely moved on, I admitted to everything. I was hacking the other day, and I just turned it off. So you wouldn't mind if I, like, told him the full extent. You wouldn't want me to do that, right? Wait, why? Well, I think we're going to engage in a bit of an act called the blackmailing parrot here. I am going to leak everything you're doing to Spoke unless you give me your chest plate. And I've been recording this entire time, so I do have your uh, no! confession. Wembu was going to take what I just said and use it to turn me into Spoke, <laughs> unless I gave him my chest plate. And yes, this chest plate is one of the three chest plates that my teammates and I created at the beginning of the server. However, there's a massive repercussion if you lose yours. You see, when the three of us created them, we agreed that if any of us lost ours and couldn't get it back, we'd have to leave our team. This meant that Wembu was forcing me to make a decision. Either get kicked from my own team, or get reported and banned from the server. Unless I went back on my promise. If I broke rules again and scammed Wembu by giving him a fourth fake chest plate, there was a chance that I could avoid everything. Hello, Mr. Bird. I'm gonna need that chest plate off of you. If I lose this chest plate, even if it's not you, I'm gonna tell Spoke. Bro, what? And as I swapped my real chest plate for the fake one and threw it to Wembu, I knew that there was no going back. Have a good one, Mr. X2. All it took was five minutes until Wembu realized that the chest plate was fake, and he was furious that I scammed him. Interesting. 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 And you just tried scamming me. You're such a little rat, bro. I tried everything that I could. I apologized, then gave Wembu four of my hearts, yet despite all of this, he refused to budge. So I am gonna actually need the, uh, the chest plate. Parrot, you think you have leverage here, and you think you can manipulate me into giving up my leverage, but I can still tell Spoke at any time. But I had one final idea, and if it worked, Wembu's evidence against me would mean nothing. Yet this was a plan so risky that if I were caught, I'd get banned no matter what. But I figured that if I didn't do it, I'd get banned anyway. So, Mapik and I began creating fake evidence of Wembu hacking in order to blackmail him. Alright, do I look like- is this hacking speed, Zam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, very Wait, much so. <laughs> look, wait, watch this. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually just gonna zip past your screen like- Fully believing that this plan was flawless, I called Wembu to show him the fake evidence. Okay. Uh... Oh. Bro has fabricated some evidence here. Bro? What? What? I... Uh... I, need I to swear to God I just saw Wembu hacking. On Lifesteal? Yes, bro! What?! So. <laughs> Dude, this kid's hacking! Explain to you why it's not working. You want me to? Show me the date of that file. There is no date. What? It's just what? hacks. No, no, no. Go, go, into the, go into your recordings and right-click on that file. Let's see the date modified. 
No, I don't think we need to because I'm gonna I'm gonna send this to Spoke. I think we actually do need to. Well, uh, I'll call Spoke. Maybe he'll ban you. Maybe you won't. I don't really know. And uh, yeah, deal still on the table until I call Spoke, but that's probably gonna happen soon. So be quick if you want. Knowing that Wembu would shortly turn me in and get me banned, I decided that I'd spend my last moments on the server breaking rules with Mapic. Yo, hello. Yo, what's up? I'm on. All right, we need to we need to just break every single thing, dude. I'm literally gonna get banned in like 30 minutes. Okay. And as I broke the rest of those rules, I wondered, is this how Spoke had felt? Constantly trying to escape something that would inevitably happen? Yo, oh, Ben! Let me crit you. Yo, you can't though. And by the time I realized that I didn't want to do this anymore, that all I wanted to do was live, it was already too late. We're gonna talk about what you're doing right now. <laughs> Baradex 2? No, 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 no. I have been collecting a little portfolio on you. I honestly, I've, I've not had any hard evidence until literally right then and there. So that's a little interesting. Honestly, Parrot griefing spawn? <laughs> and that was the thing that was going to get you caught, man? Wembu hadn't even turned me in. It was my own fault. It was me going back on my promise that was about to get me banned. At first, rule breaking was something fun. I broke that first rule because I had nothing to lose, but that wasn't the case anymore. I'm gonna have to contact you tomorrow because Parrot, it's not gonna be easy getting unbanned. And it wasn't easy at all. Mapic made a deal with Spoke that took him nearly two weeks of grueling work to complete. I had to promise never to break a rule again, and also apologize to every single person who had been affected by me. So, as soon as I was unbanned, I gathered everyone together at spawn. I brought you all here today because I would like to apologize to you all. Which, you probably know why I'm apologizing, but there was someone else who deserved an actual apology. Someone who had put everything on the line for me. Yo, may pick, bro. Like, I know I haven't been around for the past two weeks, but genuinely, I'm sorry for throwing you under the bus. I mean, like, it's whatever, bro. It was pretty obvious you were going to get banned, let's be real. Yeah. But, like, it doesn't really matter, bro. Like, past in the past. Like, at least you didn't give that bot Wembu your chest plate, bro. Bro, obviously I didn't. And for the first time in a long time, I had everything I needed right in front of me.